Hi, I am Volkan Etilmezer. Do you know 8 ways to image transfer in Crentry Lab? We will start from the simple to the more complex setups. In the first setup, we will connect the monitor directly to the camera with an HDMI cable. To secure the monitor, you can use a screw enter the left side of the Crentry lab. This is how you can transfer the most streamlined image. You can also see this in motion tests. In this setup, we will send the camera image wirelessly directly to a monitor. For this, we will use HoloLand Mars 300 wireless image transfer device. Connect the camera to the HDMI input of the Mars 300 transmitter. Install the Mars 300 receiver to a monitor and connect it with an HDMI cable. You can transfer image up to 300 feet. You can connect the transmitter to the secret input on the side of the Crentry lab. In this setup, we will use another monitor. Especially in Canon cameras, when you connect with HDMI, you cannot see the screen. For this, you need to connect the second monitor. Connect the HDMI cable from the camera to the HDMI cable of the small monitor. Then connect an HDMI cable to the HDMI output of the monitor. Connect this cable to the HoloLand MAS 300 transmitter. Set up the connection between the receiver and the second monitor with an HDMI cable. That's all. You can install Mars 300 at the screw entry at the front and the monitor at the screw at the rear. Now we will start using the camera control system on the Crentry lab. To do this, connect the compatible camera HDMI cable to the mini HDMI port on the CCS. Then complete the image transfer steps. The image will be transferred directly to your phone. Using the phone holder, you can connect your phone to the Crentry lab. We are going to move the previous setups one step forward. Make a connection between compatible cable and CCS. Make a connection to the phone and turn on the image transfer. If you are using an iPhone, connect the phone image to a monitor with an HDMI cable using a Lightning Digital AV adapter. Using the phone, you can send the image wirelessly to both phone and monitor. We are going to do the same thing we just did. This time we will connect the monitor and the phone onto Crentry Lab. This allows you can view and manage all parameters from the phone display. You can also get a more detailed view since you connected a large screen on the Crentry Lab. Especially those who use Canon will not be able to see the image when they want to use the image transfer feature. To do this, install a small monitor on the Crentry Lab. Connect the monitor with the HDMI cable with the camera. In this way, you can see the image on the monitor as well as create a connection to CCS. You can then start the transfer of wireless image between Crentry Lab and the phone. Finally, let's see how we can see the image on both the Crentry Lab monitor and the second monitor. Install the monitor on the Crentry Lab. Connect with HDMI between camera and monitor. 
Connect the CCS from the monitor HDMI output with a cable. If you are using an iPhone, connect the phone image to monitor with the HDMI cable using a Lightning Digital AV adapter. In this way, the second operator can see the image on large screen and manage the camera. In this video we learned 8 ways to image transfer in CRAN3Lab. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. See you in next video. Bye.